Good morning. We're holding Pasha's Mata Ismase. And at first glance, you can look at the Pasha's Mata is, which Mata is, is not like a stick that is weak, but it's a stiff, strong stick. And if you look at Masse, it's just the opposite. You're constantly moving. You're going from level to level to level. And this is what we see also the whole idea of Shabbos and the weekdays. The weekdays is a lot of movement. There's a lot of uh, there's jobs. There's a parnasa I have to deal with. There's worldly matters you're involved with. You have cell phones. You have uh, other electronic devices. You're in the world of changes. And still, Matis Masi are together. So on Shabbos, a person is higher than the world. His connection to God should be as strong as possible. There's no weekday matters. When it comes Shabbos, everything that you did in the week, it was completed already. We don't cook, we don't uh, do anything on Shabbos. We shut down every worldly matter. And we only spend Shabbos with pleasure, eating and drinking and even sleeping. And that is connected also with the Perky obvious, it says, you should be zari, be careful. Mitzvah kalo kivachamura. Don't take mitzvahs lightly. And what do we see over here is that this idea of a lighter mitzvah, more harsh mitzvah, a more uh, lenient mitzvah, mitzvah the Rabbanon, the rabbis made mitzvahs. You have more lenient, some uh, rewards are greater than the other. But you should be careful in all mitzvahs. And the reason for that is, because the one that commanded the mitzvahs, is higher than time and place. Higher than stringencies and higher than their kindness. And over there is, it doesn't make a difference. So again, we have our nature, natural life, and we have God. But when we do a mitzvah, because the mitzvah mitzvah is the one that commands us to do the mitzvah, then we connect to God even in a place where there are differences. We have special things to put on tefillin with. We have this. We have the tzedakah money to give tzedakah. Parnasa, we have to go to our job. There's so many different things in this world. But if we connect God with it and bring God in every aspect, then there's less trouble and less problems. Problems start when we don't have God in our lives. That's where problems start. So it doesn't make a difference where you are. God gave us a Shabbos and that Shabbos blesses the whole week. That Shabbos gives us the strength no matter where we are, we have it. We have in mind God. God is in control. 
You came a little late to work. You spent too much time at work. You messed up at this thing, you messed up at that thing. God is in control. And if you're looking with God, you'll be a true worker. And that's why it says by Yaakov and Lavan. Lavan was, a, Yaakov was a true worker. He worked for Lavan the whole time. And that is because if you have God in mind, no hardship affects you. And that's what it says, Matis Masse, and that's why we have Shabbos every week, that gives us the strength that we can go out in the week and keep God in mind. That's why davening is like Shabbos. We don't look at our phones, we don't answer phones, we don't do anything with, uh, with worldly matters and Shabbos while we're davening. Shabbos, is, uh, the learning Torah, you cannot have your phone with you either. It says, Tam Chacham Nikr Shabbos, Tam Chacham Shabbos. When you're learning Torah, there's nothing around. You're totally connected with the Torah. Torah is the Chachma of Hashem. Mitzvahs is the, is the will of Hashem. Torah is the intellect of God. Uh, of God. And that's why Matis and Masi are together. Matis means you're firm in Yiddishkeit. A person can say, how can we be firm? You cannot be firm when, you, uh, when you're traveling the whole time and everything else. Like uh, as Dushan Pali said, I'm on the way towards the Gula. I don't need to have furniture when I'm on the way. A person asks him, where's your furniture in your house? Why don't you have furniture? He had a bench, he had a table, what else did he have? Nothing much, he slept on the bench that he ate, a, that he sat on when he benched and learned. And we ate and learned. So he says, I'm on the way now. When a person's on the way, he doesn't have everything. Matris teaches us no matter where we are, we can keep to our Torah and mitzvahs. We can, uh, we can uh, dive in, we can learn. Baruch Hashem, there's so many apps, so many booklets that you can learn wherever you want and whatever situation you want. And that's what it's telling us. The, the 42 Masois in Pashas Masay is the is the travelings of all, going through all the nations of Yiddin, traveling wherever they are. A person can say, L'chayra, wait a second. We left already our Mitzrayim Mugvulim. We left all the limitations and boundaries. And we came to Matan Teira. The Shabbos of uh, the Jewish people, Matan Teira. Everyone says that Teira was whole, was given on Shabbos. So therefore, we got to Teira, and we're out of all our limitations. The Teira says it was other Masois. But those Masois was not to take away from the Neis Natera, not to take away from Yiddishkeit. No matter where you are, you have to take the Koyach of Teira. You have to take the Koyach of Shabbos. That Shabbos, you are totally connected to God, you have to take it out towards the week. Knowing that we can always have God in our mind. And we should always have God in our mind. And that's how we'll be successful and much more happier. And as we know, the past week, Shabbos Mevarchim,
was not a blessing for the month of the Churban. Since the Churban were suffering 2,000 years in Galus, the blessings were for the Gula Amitis Vashlema. Well, we'll have the third base Amikdash. As we know, the base Amikdash was not on a flat land. The base Amikdash was going higher and higher and higher and higher. That's why the Mizbeach had a uh, ramp. And we went higher and higher and higher. It was not just in one place. And that's why the Ramam holds it was in Maila Sahar. Every level, every part of the, the Beis Amitosh is higher and higher and higher. It was not on straight land. Because when we go into Kedusha and we take Hashem with us, it only goes higher. But the higher you go, the more Kedusha there is. A person should not say that it's Masse. No, it's Mato, it's Masse together. You have to bring the Tkifus of Teira and Mitzvah in every level where you are. And that's how we bring Mashiach. When it, was, it says in the times of Mashiach, La yeh kolo elam. La yeh eisi kolo elam al das Hashem. That the occupation of the whole world will be to the knowledge of God. How do we prepare for that is? By having God in our lives all the time connecting to the strength of God, the strength of Teda Mitzvah. As it says, that when you say Maidani in the morning, the way you're supposed to be, the whole day will be in Eifra Maidani, connecting to God. And you dive in properly with the preparation of Hasidis, you also have a great day. Because the idea is you have to bring God in every aspect of our lives. And then we, we will always be transferred transformed to a time that will be filled with the knowledge of God. Just like the waters, which is Teira, fills the whole river. The whole waters.